But one really disturbing thing about the coronavirus outbreak is all the misinformation that's floating around. Right, including how the virus can be transmitted from one person to another. For example, it's even been suggested that mosquitoes can carry it. Our Rudy Trevino looked into that claim for us today. When it comes to questions concerning infectious diseases, there's only one expert in that highly specialized field we turn to. We know how this virus is transmitted. Briscoe Children's Hospital Specialist, Dr. Jaime Fergie, constantly monitors the latest information from the Centers for Disease Control. So when the question of mosquito-borne transmission of viruses, specifically COVID-19, we asked him, can it be? We know for sure. This is, this is a, a virus, it's a respiratory virus that is not transmitted by mosquitoes. There are other viruses totally different that can be transmitted by mosquitoes, like the West Nile virus, for example, and not many, many other ones, but not this one. The doctor explained COVID-19 is in the same family of coronaviruses, like the flu. Similar symptoms in some respect, but very different potential outcomes. Most people who get it uh, get just a common cold minimal symptoms. The people who really get sick are those who are in the 70s and 80s or people who have underlying conditions. Heart disease, pulmonary problems, kidney problems, some severe underlying illnesses. Now, when it comes to mosquito-borne diseases, we do have some good news on that front. The city's vector control is already waging war against those pesky bugs with close to 50 traps already set to monitor them. It's number one, we monitor uh, pest mosquito counts, and that helps us determine when we need to start spraying if, if we don't know. The other type of trap um, will attract uh, the species of mosquitoes which are known to carry uh, vector-borne diseases like West Nile. Even better news from vector control. For the last four years, tests of mosquitoes caught in the traps have shown no evidence of West Nile. Hopes are 2020 will have similar results. Rudy Trevino, 3 News. And here at 3 News, we continue.